Hello, hello everybody, it's your boy Prof Trof, and YouTube suggested me a video. It sounded interesting, so we'll, let's check it out. This is 4chan versus Mexico's most dangerous cartels. Let's see what 4chan's been up to. The year's 2011, the Los Zetas Cartel is one of the most powerful Los organizations Zetas. in the modern world. Known for their brutalness, this Mexican cartel had been responsible for numerous massacres. Yeah, I imagine. Whole villages of Bro, people. I have seen some... Back back in the day, you used to be able to post all sort of crazy stuff on uh, Reddit. And uh, I used to frequent the weirder Reddit that had more... Uh, how do I say this? Uh, crazy stuff on there. And yeah, there's been a lot of like people with no heads, stuff like that over in mexico it's it's pretty wild there from lavish drinking <laughs> pens to even human trafficking rings, oh god Zetas is filled with highly trained individuals many of whom Damn. were former members of mexico's special it's forces. a lot of AKs, i see at this point los Zetas owned about a third of mexico Damn. Along with many paid off politicians and businessmen they even had a web of taxi drivers who would feed them information so they could keep tabs on where their enemies were located los Zetas used their power and wealth to stay in the shadows hidden from the mm. public view because what of this, happened? Los Zetas cartel felt truly invincible. However, they would soon be thrust into the spotlight when 4chan's hacker group Anonymous declared war. But before we get Wait. to that, our story... Is that like the Anonymous? Are they a 4chan hacker group? I thought they were just a hacker group. He goes back I didn't know they were a, year prior, a 4chan at the hacker end group. Of 2010. Okay, we're going back. Is that a D supposed to be desperation for... During this period, Better Anonymous storm? was massive. They were well known and respected by almost everyone around the world. Yeah. The only people that well, didn't respect Anonymous. Respected or feared, I don't know, but yeah. Were the evil individuals and organizations that were deathly afraid of them. But those mm. are stories for another time. Ew. Anyways, Anonymous decided to launch something Ew. called Operation Paperstorm. Paper and they even storm. released a video alongside it, explaining their goal to the public. Mm -hmm. The original video is quite long, so I'll only play the important parts. Okay. Greetings, citizens of the world. I was too young for this, bro. I was a kid. At this point in the world's history, I was playing Counter Strike Source and jacking off to anti women. Nothing's really changed much, but we are you know. Uh huh. I want to talk but it looks so goofy. Let's be honest. Topic, or rather, an important change. Mm -hmm. In the world there are many wars with weapons, but there are more silent wars, which aim at the destruction of your fundamental rights. Mm -hmm. This silent war carried out by governments and private entities also want to make it more difficult for you to inform yourself about the events uh -huh. that are happening around you, filtering what you can and cannot search, say, or think. This is not only a waste that of video looks so money, goofy, but brother. they also mess with the basics and freedom of the internet by trying in every way to privatize and censor information, websites and the free thought and word of the people. Uh -huh. Anonymous, this is a revolution and it's time to make a change. A change, no matter how small we can make it grow. This is an idea and you can't kill an I'm idea. I'm an expert at making small things grow, brother. Let's go. And go public flyers, posters, stickers, and spread them throughout your city. Come oh. and participate in the. The problem with this is, if you live in a country that allows you to watch videos like this, you probably are not the people they're talking about saving. And if you're the people they want to be saved from this, like, you know, you probably will never see this video. So it, it, it's a little bit of a problem there, brother. <laughs> Anonymous felt that the information today was being censored and manipulated <laughs> be before it reached well, the public. I mean, probably. Big corporations, governments, and even sure. bad actors were doing everything in their power to spread their agendas. And it was getting to the point where it was affecting one of the last places of free speech, Which the is... internet. Oh. Because of this, Anonymous oh. called upon people from all around the globe to partake in Operation Paper Storm. Paper which Storm. aimed to spread awareness of the problem and even expose the corruption that is now, happening like, every day. A website was oh, created boom, boom. to officially kick off the event. So that users could download the original flyers and even share pictures of their art. The flyers detailed what everyone was expected to do. The plan was stand hit them in their own world, spread the information everywhere in all place. They can no longer stand or lie to us, and together we shall give them Christmas. They shall never ever be forgot. Who wrote this? Put the logo manifest of invisible and strike use the darkness here invisible. Raise to post streets. pictures of anything they wanted to tell the world. Mm -hmm. So no one would get caught. They would all wear masks and strike in the middle of the night. Yeah, when that's the world would wake sure up the next morning, they would see all the flyers and posters. <laughs> Come that on, members bro. of Anonymous spread. It was perfect. 
Was it? What? I, I don't think we can call that plan perfect. I see a lot of holes in that plan. A lot of ways. It Storm can go bad. Was extremely open ended, and Anonymous just wanted to rise up together to stop the suppression of free information. So Fortune's Anonymous began printing out the flyers. Anonymous users participated everywhere from the Netherlands nice. to Istanbul, Ooh, to Germany, the key. to the UK, to the United States, to Russia, mm. to even South America. Even South Operation America. Why are you saying like that, literally though? Literally a global movement. And even though none of these anonymous users knew each other, and they all probably had different backgrounds and upbringings, for that night, they were all united for a common cause. Anonymous did everything from exposing billionaires to recruiting Ooh. more people to even displaying brave individuals in history, showing defiance against the system. Mm. This is what Anonymous was trying to portray, that they would stand up to anything for the good of the people, even if everyone else was being complacent. Operation Paperstorm would be a mild success, and users across the globe were able to show exactly what cause they were passionate about. However, one brave user in particular, who went out to protest during Operation Paperstorm in Veracruz, Mexico, would Ooh. soon have their life changed forever. Not yeah. much is known about who this individual- Listen, I'm gonna be honest with you. When I was in America, like, three or four years ago, I had some opportunities to go to Mexico for a couple of weeks to see what it was for a vacation. Like, but most people that, when I tell, when I tell people that I would go to Mexico and they were either they had gone to Mexico or are from Mexico. You know what they told me? If you go to Mexico, get your shittiest clothes. They have holes in them and stuff like that. And wear those clothes. Don't wear your good clothes outside because stuff might happen to you. So I was okay. Maybe not a good idea to go to Mexico. So I pushed out. I did never. I did not go to Mexico. You know, is, so it's a scary place there. Sure, they printed out supposedly that the Los Cedas didn't like it all. Mm. So in the midst of Operation Paperstorm, while this member of yeah, Anonymous that was done. posting these flyers, they were kidnapped by the Los Cedas cartel. Yeah. Anonymous would soon find out that one of their members was missing, and they were not going to let this slide easily, especially since the Los. Bro, fucking with the cartels is not a smart thing. Cedas cartel encapsulated everything that Anonymous thought was wrong with the world. And so it began. I mean, they are everything that's wrong with the world. Operation Cartel. Imaginative name. <laughs> on October 6, 2011, about 10 months after Operation Paperstorm, mm -hmm. Anonymous released a video on YouTube directed to the leaders of the Los Cedas Cartel. The original video is in Spanish, but I found an English version oh. that was released alongside it. Nice. Anonymous from Veracruz, Mexico, and the world. We want you to know that a member has been kidnapped when he was okay. doing paper. This video is still goofy as hell to me. Like storm in our city. We demand his release. <laughs> we want the army and the Navy. I mean, if he was abducted nine months ago, the chance of him still being alive or slim to none. It Let's be honest. We are fed up with the criminal group Zetas who have concentrated on kidnapping, stealing and blackmailing in different ways. One of them is charging every honest and hard-working citizen of Veracruz who busts their ears working day after day to their feed their families. We are fed up with taxi drivers, mm. commanders, and police seedies officers of Xalapa, Cordoba, Orizaba, Nogales, Rio Blanco, and Camarinos, who are chickens and have made themselves the most They're loyal chickens. servants of these assholes. For the time being, oh, we will not post photos or the names of the taxi drivers, the journalists or the newspapers, nor mm -hmm. the police officers. But if needed, we will publish them, including their addresses, to see if by doing so, the government will arrest them. We cannot Raw defend lot. ourselves with a weapon, but if we can do this with their cars, houses, bars, brothels, and Irish? everything else in their possession, it will not be difficult. Cargo we all know who they are and where they are. You made a huge mistake by taking one of us. Release him. And if anything happens to him, you will always remember this upcoming November 5th. Knowledge is free. We are anonymous. We are legion. We do not forgive. We do not forget. Wait and see. Okay. Please tell me something happened. Hopefully Anonymous the dude's okay, but... ...that one of its members was captured by Los Cedas. Mm -hmm. Because of this, they threatened to publicly release the names and addresses of the cartel yep. supporters unless they safely released their captured member. And they had, until November 5th, about a whole month to do so. Damn. If Anonymous released this information, it would absolutely cripple the cartel and would leave many of the members exposed to Mexico's federal government. This video... I mean, let's be honest, the chance of the government... The, the thing that would be most dangerous from... 
for this cartel if they were if the names were released is probably another cartel not the actual government the government probably knows about it probably corrupt about it shockwaves uh, across mexico highly doubt the government would do anything around the world were interested to see what would happen next and yes. Anderson started the hashtag OP Cartel on Twitter, OP which started for Operation Cartel. Oh, they then okay. waited for a response. Not overpowered from Cartel? Sedas. They are kind of overpowered. And waited. And waited. But after a few weeks, Los Sedas didn't respond to Anonymous, mm. so they decided to release their first leak. They Ooh. posted a website exposing the first member of Los Sedas, a man named Gustavo Rosario Torres, who was a Mexican government Wait, official Torres. at the time. A few years prior, he was accused of receiving $200,000 from a cocaine deal. And Damn. Anonymous not only confirmed this, but accused him of being completely bought out by the cartel. The video, along with the leak, was a massive threat to Los Zedas, and they felt like they couldn't appear weak. The mm -hmm. question is though, how do you fight back Anonymous? There are people from all walks of life, all around the world, without you a don't know anybody, to target. Anything about it's them. quite literally impossible unless you want to start hunting them down one by one. But even that would be a massive challenge, especially when these users are using proxies to hide their locations. Yeah, plus what what do you do if you found it some like 12 year old kid from Russia or somewhere on the other side of the world? Los Zetas made it very clear that if Anonymous began exposing the people who worked for them, there would be a massive loss of life. Mm. Not only would they kill the person who was exposed, but they would even try to track down members of Anonymous. Intelligence agencies such as Stratfor warned that Stratfor. Los Zetas would hire their own computer scientists to track down anyone who posed a threat. Los Zetas have actually done this in the past by hunting down various oh. journalists who continuously talked badly about them. Oh. This created a massive divide oh, oh, oh. in Anonymous. Some users wanted to keep going and expose everything about Los Zetas. And some were while afraid. Other users thought that it simply wasn't worth it at all and mm -hmm. were afraid that the cartel would try to kill them and the people they exposed. They probably would. Hashtag OP cartel is dead. I do not wish to endanger other Anons. Due to the safety risk imposed on all Anons, hashtag OP cartel is dead. Oof. Repeat hashtag OP Wait. cartel is dead. Please tell us what happened with the dude though. Although most users decided to back off, homie. the Spanish-American users of Anonymous were too passionate and decided mm. to proceed, even if it meant they had a chance of dying. Let's they go. released a blog on the Anonymous Ibero-American website, talking about their plans to expose the cartel to try to dismantle it once and for all. They also urged the less experienced members of Anonymous to stay away for a while Ooh. so that they wouldn't get tracked down. Nice, nice, nice. Anonymous then explained that there was a special task force made, which contained special some of the best hackers that Spanish America had to offer. Anonymous then made another blog post, sending different messages to the cartels, the Mexican government, and lastly, the people of the world. This post was a rallying cry to let everyone know that they were angry and meant business. Uh -huh. They wanted change so that the Spanish parts of America God, would be a better place to live without the violence and corruption that the citizens had to deal with. It appeared as if Anonymous was not going to back down, and it was mm -hmm. going to be an all-out war. And then? However, only a few days after this post, everything seemed to change. Another blog was posted to the site, and what it contained was interesting. The member who was kidnapped by Los Sedas was released from their custody oh. and returned safely home. Although he was badly bruised, he didn't have any long-lasting injuries. Wait, the, the homie was alive for this long? I'm quite surprised. I almost thought he was done. I thought so he was done. That Los Zetas had a message for Anonymous, which they told the member before he was set free. For each name Anonymous released that was connected to the Los Zetas cartel, they would execute 10 people, starting Ooh. with the family of the Anonymous user that was kidnapped. Because of this, Anonymous came to the consensus yeah. that it wasn't worth putting all of these innocent people in danger, so they decided to leave it be. I mean, yeah, this is the big problem with these types of situations, because they're probably hurting way more people than 10 for each member, you know, discovered. They're probably hurting hundreds, if not thousands, if not tens of thousands in doing their business. Having them exposed for those deaths is probably worth it. But uh, can you make that decision? That's, that's, that's a fucked up decision to make, Strangely, bro. Many different it's absolutely speak about awful. This, and they all say that there was no evidence that a member of Anonymous was even captured in the first place. Huh? There were no police reports of missing people. That yeah. fit the lost member during that period. That doesn't really mean much, bro. The country's corrupt as fuck. That's coming from a country that's pretty corrupt as mine, but even Bulgaria is not as bad as Mexico. Come on, bro. Period. That doesn't mean anything. Who knows if someone was actually kidnapped or not, or what any of these organizations' true intentions were. But one thing still stands. The final post ended one of the most insane internet standoffs of all time. Damn. Hey, I'm gonna be honest, I expected way more brutality from this. I thought homie was dead. I, I thought I was going to see a head. Just a head, nobody. Okay, well, let me know what y'all think.
let me know if you like this video if we should do more videos like this and yeah i'll see you next time like comment subscribe all that other stuff youtube stuff and I'll... bye everybody see you next time